An extremely new discovery might make everyone here postpone their plans to own a Model Y for a while, especially for the base variant, which has the latest design changes and believed to be the beginning of the Model Y Juniper project. That's also a breakthrough to the performance as we can see quite a big change as it dropped from 6.9 seconds to 5.9 seconds for the 0 to 60 mile acceleration. Tesla is doing quite well with what they've done on other models towards the ultimate change. So, what are those notable changes? Join us to find out details about some of the Model Y's changes in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, where we talk about everything about Tesla. And before we start, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get into it. The project to refresh the Model 3 or Model 3 Highlands has been completed and launched not long ago, bringing customers a series of designs in terms of overall performance, but that it's not enough to meet expectations. Our wait is for a more practical one for family trips, the Model Y. So what is the big change in Model Y's efficiency? Well, recently, Tesla did a bit of a surprise update to the Model Y, so what Tesla did in China was to bring a slight change to the range and acceleration of the Model Y. We call it a minor change because we can find very little that's changed. However, it makes quite a difference when it comes to the 0 to 60 mile acceleration. In the previous version of the standard variant, the time to 60 miles was 6.9 seconds according to estimates over in China. The updated version has reduced the time to 5.9 seconds, one second being the amount of time, and that's shown to be a huge difference. In the case of the real-world drive Model Y, the estimated range is 345 miles or 554 kilometers, an increase of 5 miles 9 kilometers, almost 1.7% more than the previous model. For the dual-motor all-wheel drive long-range version, the estimated range has increased from 410 to 428 miles, an increase in 18 miles over the previous version. Since we don't see that the Model Y has too many changes to the exterior design to increase aerodynamics, we can consider that Tesla seems to have had a bit of an impact on the Model Y's battery cell, with the supply being extremely abundant in the Chinese market, especially from manufacturer cattle. Which could be just a slight change in the battery structure or improvements in their software. Nonetheless, it shows a breakthrough in Tesla's production process in terms of increasing operating range which are difficulties that other EV manufacturers out there are considering to optimize. It's a fact that to achieve a time to 60 miles an hour that's up to one second shorter, the power that the Model Y standard range must add is about 60 to 100 horsepower in rear-wheel drive. That's a pretty big change on this Model Y, and we don't need to pay any additional cost to receive this offer from the manufacturer. The price is even cheaper when it comes out of factories in North America that promise to come with those tax incentives. Furthermore, for customers who truly care about the Model Y's design and ignore the rumors about the range being significantly changed, we are offering some significant attention to design changes and promises of a comprehensive change that Tesla aims for in the Model Y Juniper. Has there been a change in the design of the Model Y? Well, the first thing we can notice is that when we visited the official Chinese website and compared it with the previous version that's showing up in the North American market, it can be seen that Model Y has switched to using 19-inch Gemini wheels with a darker paint layer and a black color to give it a more modern look than the silver wheels. Paying closer attention, you can see here that the Model Y is the last version to have silver wheels, and Tesla's plan is to refresh their entire product line. For the interior, there have been some slight changes to the material on the dashboard. The wood grain design on the old version has been removed. Even if you chose a black or white interior set instead, the Model Y will use a synthetic textile material for its dashboard. The interior design, like the seats, don't seem to be cooled or anything like that. Wondered is why doesn't this screen rotate? Like it's in everything else basically the same inside compared to the older version. The only difference here that we can see is the 256 color ambient light strip, similar to what Tesla added in the Model 3 Highland and Cybertruck versions. However, it does not extend to rear seats, but is only located around the dashboard and cabin. The car's weight seems to have changed a bit with an increase of 2 kg and now the car weighs 1,981 kilograms for the all-wheel drive long-range version. That means only a few details were added to the design that increased it to such a small number, so it's possible that the motor and battery cell appear to have remained the same. 
It still has a 250 kilowatt charger on the long range all wheel drive and a 170 kilowatt charger on the rear wheel drive, so charging speeds are the same with nothing else that really stands out. The half model refresh seems like a halfway update to keep customers happy while waiting for the Juniper project to be completed or a full model Y refresh when the Model 3 Highland hits the markets. With these small changes, the new Model Y will soon be available in global markets, including North America. That's where we sit and turn all our attention to the refreshed Model Y and Model 3. As for the Juniper version that we're eagerly waiting for, there's no need to worry whether it's true or not because this new change in Model Y is a promise from Tesla that it'll definitely show up on the market. However, the wait for Juniper will likely be 6 to 12 months once the Model 3 Highland completes general deliveries. How impressive were the 2023 Model Y sales? According to an almost accurate estimate of Tesla sales posted on X, with new changes in design and performance, Model Y promises sales up to 1.8 million cars sold out in 2023, while the third quarter of 2023 just ended with sales of more than 318,000 Model Y units sold. This quarter sales are expected to be the largest this year due to the plan to offer a trial of the FSD feature for orders delivered before September 30th, 2023. The number may have a slight dip in the fourth quarter because there's so much anticipation for major updates from Tesla like Juniper. Overall, quarterly sales that continue to lead the way could be an important driver for the Model Y refresh before it shows signs of slowing down. Finally, with the breaking news we just updated you on, how will you prepare to own the updated Model Y? Or would the Model Y Juniper still be your choice? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smacking that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and hitting the bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much, and until next time, stay safe, take care, and God bless. extension of you.